Good afternoon, Dina Hendry, Summerdale. Um, two times the oath um, that you take to be a council member had done today, correct? Um, and the word used was impartial. How is writing and sending a letter as a councilwoman displaying being impartial when residents are able to ask questions without prejudice? I wanna take this time to kindly ask about the letter that was sent last week that states that it's from two councilwomen, Ms. Dubs and Ms. Grace. Before I continue, can you kindly confirm that this had the authorization from you both to be sent to some of the residents at the township? Were you aware of it? Yay, nay. I'm gonna take your silence as yes. Um, also, did it need the approval of rest of the council? No, it wouldn't need an approval. Okay. Um, before sending this letter, was council, um, was the lawyer of the council consulted? I commented, I didn't know. You didn't know about it. Okay. With that, can you explain why this was not sent to everybody in Gloucester Township as you are counsel for all of Gloucester Township? not just certain areas of the township, especially with saying that a community action is needed. I would think that all of Gloucester Township residents would want to know what kind of action is needed. Also, can you review the meeting where these supposed attacks were made? From my understanding and review of the meeting on July 11th, 2022, in minute, 15 minutes and 33 seconds, I asked about the process of abstaining from a vote, I did not at any time object to playgrounds, sidewalks, or affordable housing. I will say for the record, I have questioned the lack of attendance from a person that has been voted by the people who we pay out of our tax dollars. People have reached out about this letter to me about the undertones that are being implied. I told these people that I really don't think this letter is to cause a division. I'm hoping I am wrong. With that being said, please understand that what is being written can't be undone, but a retraction can, as this letter is dangerous without factual evidence and information. Also, I would like to apologize for attending your meetings. I thought we were, this was an open meeting and I thought being a resident and a taxpayer that meant that I could attend meetings and ask questions during the second open session. If I am wrong, please point me to the correct meeting where I can freely exercise my First Amendment right without being, being twisted or held against me. Thank you. Is there anyone else that has not spoken? 